Welcome to today's broadcast. No matter what kind of day you are having, please remember that God is big and God is good. He is bigger and better than you think. We read in Luke 14, 25 through 26. Now great multitudes went with him, and he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. If you are a disciple of Christ, the life you now live is by the faith of Jesus. And you pursue discipleship by saying goodbye to all that you have. And that includes all of your human relationships as well. But to seek after Jesus and hate those we love is not what it sounds like at first glance. Because the Bible says that God is love. 1 John 4, 8. What we put an end to in seeking God is not our love for people. Our love for other people actually increases as we diligently seek God. What we put an end to is our need for other people. We take our neediness for other people and put it over on God. We no longer need other people. We only need God. And ironically, the less we need other people, the more we are able to love them. Are you with me so far? Which of us hasn't had to give up the needy side of a relationship? Maybe with a friend, a parent, a child, or a spouse. And weren't we then free to love them more when we needed them less? But Jesus wants even more. Discipleship demands that we forsake all our non-people neediness as well. All those contingency plans that we have put in place to secure our future. Does this mean we should quit locking our doors? Does this mean we should cancel our insurance policies? Do we cash in our investments, give the money to the poor, and live by faith? Yes, He is certainly calling us to live by faith, but not by blind faith. When we give up our neediness for other people, He gives us the ability to truly love them in return. All of the thought and effort we previously spent in trying to get love from them is strangely transformed into thought and effort in trying to get love to them. In the same way, when we give up our need to relentlessly pursue things for our own benefit, He gives us the ability to relentlessly pursue things for the benefit of others. All of the thought and effort we previously spent in trying to extract material blessings from them is strangely transformed into thought and effort in trying to get material blessings to them. Now this kind of faith is not blind. This kind of faith requires a man or a woman who knows where to go and how to get there in spite of any obstacles. But this kind of faith is different in that every move is made in cooperation with God. For more, please visit GiveMeThatMountain.org and you have a wonderful day.